So right now, it might seem like you have to memorize a lot of new variables for rotational motion. And I don't blame you, it does seem like a lot, but it's actually not so bad once you think about it, because rotational variables have a lot in common with translational ones. And we're going to see that by comparing each of these to their translational counterparts. So angular displacement, which is delta theta, is going to be similar to translational displacement. The main difference is when we have a point and it's rotating to a different position, our rotational or angular displacement is going to be the angle between these two points, whereas the translational displacement is going to be the arc length. So the actual distance that this point travels to get from here to here. Next up is going to be our angular and translational velocities. So this angular velocity is going to be angular displacement over time. Similarly, velocity is equal to displacement over time. So as you can see, both of these are ver very similar, except they're just using their um, corresponding displacements in the numerator divided by time. Now angular acceleration is going to be angular velocity over time, while translational acceleration is velocity over time. Even their symbols look similar. We have an alpha and a lowercase a. Now moving on to rotational and translational momentum. Well, translational momentum is mass times velocity, and rotational momentum, or angular momentum, is going to be the moment of inertia, which I guess kind of is like mass, so I compared these two down here. And that's going to be multiplied by angular velocity, which is going to be the translate which is going to be the rotational counterpart of translational velocity. So even the um, ways that these two are calculated are similar. So torque is kind of like force because torque is basically anything that makes an object rotate, and force is what makes objects move. So since rotational motion is when an object turns around or spins, and translational motion is when an object moves linearly, then both of these are kind of counterparts of one another. The moment of inertia, I guess, is kind of like mass. They're not that similar to each other as the other variables are, but this can be compared to this when we're looking at the equations for linear and or rotational and linear momentum.